Go. This is KFI, WBA Super Flyweight World Champion, and you're watching True School Sports. Ben and Taylor here, True School Sports. I'm with former world champion Maureen Shea. How you doing? I'm great. Feeling good. Yeah, great to finally meet you. Yes, Instagram. We follow each other on Instagram, so it's uh, yeah. I, actually, Derek told me about you. I think you were in the gym one day, and uh, we missed. We brought to me missing time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that's, that's good. I'm glad. I hope you said good things about me. Yes, of course. Okay. Well, you're uh, you're on the comeback trail. You know, you're on the uh, our inaugural bad promotions card. Yep. So just talk to talk to people about like just uh, your career and uh, where you're at right now. Um, you know, it's it's been interesting. Um, I had a lapse in my career because I actually had an injury that a lot of people didn't know about. I wasn't big on um, you know sharing a lot of my personal stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I was out for a little bit, and I just said to myself I wasn't gonna come back until I knew I was 100. percent I respect the sport so much. I've been doing it for 20 years. Um, I've been professional for oh my gosh, I don't know, 14 years. Uh, so I, I really take it seriously. It's my life in there, and I'm not going to put it at risk if I don't feel like I'm 110. percent So I, I made sure I was, and I, I came back. I had my first first fight back in uh, in Mexico, and then um, I, I was living in Oxnard, California. I was actually training at the boxing laboratory, getting to run with my pound for pound favorite fighter, Vasily Lomachenko. Oh wow! So that was really cool. I trained with uh, with uh, you know a lot of the Olympians, and Kovalev would come out there, so I got to train around these guys. Being the only female was a great experience for me. Um, I've always been um, finding to put myself around the best. Prior to that, winning my two world titles, I won with Joseph Janet. Who uh, trained Victor Ortiz, uh, David Rodella, Francisco Santana, who's fighting Jared Hurd. Yeah, no Francisco. Up. Yeah, so I've been around um, some really. Um, I trained Gleason's gym. I trained in Jersey with Kendall Holt, uh, Terrific Gist, Tommy Brooks. People don't know my story. That's why I'm here to tell it. I've, I've been around the best in in, in boxing, yeah, starting yeah. with uh, with Hector Roca, mm -hmm. and then going all the way up to training the boxing lab, and now here in South Florida, being with Derek Santos, another um, you know another amazing trainer, and having trained around you know the likes of Sullivan Barrera and uh, you know Luis Arias, and I'm around these guys now. So. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. Um, I had two fights. I came back in Mexico, had a fight in Niagara Falls. Now I'm here in South Florida. And you know, it's a real blessing for me. I was fortunate enough when I moved to Oxnard, California. Um, after living there for about two years, I headlined out there. Wow. So this is almost like a blessing in disguise that I'm now, you know, like, wow, they, I got this opportunity to, to even be part of a headliner here in South Florida where I live, and it's, it's been wonderful. But, you know, my, my parents live out here. This is why I moved out here. My father fell ill. Okay. I was actually on vacation, and I wasn't, I, I wasn't planning on leaving Oxnard. It became home for me, and my father fell ill while I was on vacation here, and I said, you know what, I prayed about it. God is my higher power, and I said, okay, the Lord has led my whole career, and I said, you know, God, what do you want me to do? And, and it was time. It was time to move here. Yeah. And, uh, you know, as I tell you this, my father's in ICU right now. Ooh, yeah. well, but I'm you know what? God is, 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 is with him. I have prayers going out to him. That's it. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. And I know, um, and, you know, for me, I don't post this. I, didn't, I mean, I don't, I'm telling you, but I don't tell yeah, people yeah. this. Because, you know, the mind of a fighter is a very, very, um, he has to be very strong. And I, I know my dad, and I know he'd want me here working and he's, he's doing stable that's all we care about is he's stable and I'm glad he's in ICU so I know that he's being taken care of and I'm able to just breathe and go for what I, what I need to do but the moral of the story is the point of my moving here was to be closer to my father because he was ill and look I'm here and I'm able to box and I'm able to be close to my father so yeah. I made the right move so it's like you know uh, God was faithful to you and he, he, he moved he moved everything he always has been as long yeah. as I stay faithful to him he's moved my whole life my whole career I, I've given it to him. I mean, I took a leap of faith moving to California, not knowing anybody. Yeah. You know, I mean, I could tell you I, my story for days about about my testimony. I mean, I should be dead four times. Yeah, you know? yeah. So I'm, I'm here, and, and, and Jeremiah 29:11. Check it out in the Bible, and you'll know my life. There you go. Yeah. I didn't think I'd be here starting getting Bible scriptures. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> so that's good though. So you're you're a woman of faith. That's, Absolutely. God bless you, and, and ho hopefully your dad comes through it. You know, I'll I'll definitely yeah. be praying for him Thank as, you. as well. I'm Dale, le mando un saludo a todos los fans, bendiciones, cuídense.